What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel and today we have a new project. We're back at it. We're going to make an alignment tool. The alignment tool is so we can set the toe on any front straight end axle on any vehicle. So if you have a truck with a straight axle, you have a Jeep with a straight end axle, uh, we're going to set the toe on the Jeep today and I'm going to show you how to do it. More specifically, I'm going to show you how to build the tool. Now I'm going to build it wide enough so that I can use it on my Jeep and my truck, but you can build it to any length and you can use round bar or square tubing like I'm going to do. Either one will suit just nice. The method is gonna be the same for all of them, just the material you're working with will be slightly different. Uh, so, without further ado, let's get to it. Let's go down, grab some of the material I have. Um, you can use scrap, that's what I'm going to use. And let's go get it cut to length, and let's get to it. All right, come on, let's go. All right, guys, so to show you the material that I'm gonna use, one, I'm using some scrap angle iron, and I don't want the feet to be too tall. So, for the legs, here's what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna, I have these two pieces of square tubing that I cut, they're scrap. Um, and so these are gonna be the legs, so you're gonna have your bar going this way. For standoffs, I'm just gonna use these little pieces of angle iron that I cut to the same length, just like that. Not too bad. We're gonna pretend this is the square tubing that I'm gonna use, so the square tubing will go across just like this. And then we'll have our indicators right in the middle, and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so the size of the square tubing that we're gonna use for the main rail is uh, three quarters. Uh, the tubing that we're going to use for the indicators that are gonna slide over this is one inch. So whatever you get, it doesn't matter if you use round or square, what you wanna do is you want them to have a decent fit. So for example, that can't slide into each other but this is inch and a half, I believe, or something bigger, and that'd be entirely too big because we need to put a set screw. The one inch and the three quarter, they slide them perfectly, and it's okay if they've got a little slop because we'll put a set screw to snug that up. We're really gonna need a few inches of this, and we'll put our indicator off of this and a set screw on the back, so this will snug up to the center piece here, and then uh, our indicator will be off of it and everything, and like I said, we only need two few inch pieces of this because all we're doing is using it for a set screw and to bring an indicator off. Okay so let's get this piece cut up and the other piece cut up uh, I need to get a few inches off of here uh, like I said I think I think we're gonna do a two inch piece, two two inch pieces and then the other piece we're gonna cut down to seven feet so it's long enough to do multiple vehicles if I want. Alright let's get to cutting. main pieces cut up. We have these pieces which are going to be the adjustment. We're going to have a rod that comes off of this and a set screw on that. It'll slide on the main tube. These are going to be our feet to put it up off the ground. And then we have our main section of three quarter inch uh, square tubing cut to seven feet, our length that we determined. And then we're going to use this random piece of rod I had hanging around. You could use anything, you could use welding rod, you could use thinner wire, thicker wire, anything that's you can put a point on, or that's got a point that you can just tack to these pieces right here. Um, so you're just gonna take these and tack them just like that. So we're gonna cut this to length. We're probably gonna choose a length somewhere around here and then put a point on it, so we'll go do that. Okay, so let's take all this back up to uh, where my welder is at and let's uh, start assembling. centered what you're more worried about is where these uh, where these pointers sit so what you want to do is you want to come over here and you want to find a part on your tire that's repeatable I like this edge right here where the casting is so we're gonna choose that so I take my little pointer I get it set and once you snug it down there's like I said there's a little play here so once you snug it down you can move it again so I like pointing right there okay perfect. You slide this guy, same thing. You get it to where you want it, you point it towards that line. 
might take a second perfect so now the pointer is pointing to this line what you do is you do this on the front and then you take this bar flip it around and do it on the back what that will do is that will show you if there's any gap here now if there is for example if you do this and let's say you have a gap like that you'll need to adjust the tire accordingly this method will adjust it so there's zero degree toe on most axles with a solid front end you can run zero um, I usually run zero uh, what you can do is uh, set it to zero with this method because front to back will be perfectly equal if they're both touching the pointers uh, directly and then you can come and you can give just a little bit of twist and push it in just a little bit and that'll give you about a sixteenth to an eighth of an inch turn in if you do it just a little bit uh, that's not a bad method I like to run zero and I have no problems running zero and my turning and everything is just fine um, I know of people who run an eighth but zero to an eighth somewhere around there you're gonna be just fine solid front ends don't need the toe in that other vehicles do um, just the inherent design hey guys that's how you make an alignment tool to adjust the toe on a solid front end axle on a Jeep it even works on a truck anything with a solid axle in the front uh, this will work um, and you can play around with it you can find what works best for your vehicle uh, I like these uh, no tools easy to store uh, low pump. It's a little ugly. I know I will paint it in the future at some point, but who cares? It's a bar that lays on the ground with two pointers, right? Uh, you could make a you could make a better one uh, There are nicer ones out there. I think there's a you can actually buy one for about a hundred dollars or so uh, But mine was cheap and uh, had a little bit of fun making it so hey guys Thank you for watching the video. Thanks for following along if you have any questions hit the comments below uh, If you like the video like the video and as always you guys have a great day We'll see you next time.